Hey Kaiki, Richard Metal Fan Tala. I'm bringing you guys another album review and still continuing the Children of Bodom discography. And today we're going to be covering Hate Breeder, the band's second album released in 1999. Now, this album is, of course, following up their debut album, Something Wild. The band decided to just get right back into it. And with this album compared to uh, the Something Wild, it still definitely holds like like that same kind of style that it has. has has um has the mixture of like just power metal elements they have like the elements of neoclassical and like some elements of melodic death metal and even some black metal i feel like which i honestly like i mentioned probably in my something wild review like i don't really consider children of bodom a black metal band they kind of have those tendencies but they're kind of like the bridge between sort of like power metal or just like european extreme metal and power metal and melodic death metal and i feel like they just pull off that definitely really well and they also have that kind of like that dark darker kind of like vibe to it similar to black metal um yeah just production wise amazing the band is pretty much firing on all cylinders um just the guitar work from alexi and alexander they're just fucking great just like the riffs alexander does is goes well and just the lead playing that Alexia has done was great. Same thing, and it goes well with the keyboards from Yane. Um, the bass is pretty audible, compared, definitely audible. Henka, I think, stepped it up from something wild. And drumming-wise, Yasuka does a great job holding down the fort on the drums. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now, starting things off is Warheart. Now, Warheart starts off with a very epic introduction. And it has, like, a cool line from there's a move this movie called at Amadis, which is called which the line says from now on we are enemies you and i and then boom it has a great bass line from henka and i just think in my opinion and <clears throat> henka sapala is like one of the most underrated bassists in metal he definitely has like a very thundering bass and it just tone and then just then the guitars and the keyboards come in and just some speedy drums from that sort of like back it all up and it's uh sounds like an intense from start but when you get to the groove musically it actually settles down for some of the most accessible melodic death metal to date it's a great way to start off hate reader and then we move on to silent night bodom night which in my opinion is one of my favorite children of bodom songs and this is in my opinion my the best song on here it has like a, a very melodic beginning before heading into one of the most extreme haunting like courses and as the title suggests it talks about sort of the murders of lake bodom which is a very haunting song indeed um then next up is the title track of the album hate breeder which has that classic children of bodom sound i feel like hate breeder delivers the most brutal children of bodom song yet and but i feel like uh, alexi kind of uses like some cheesy brutally clean vocals well i think after that he gr outgrows it later which kind of brings it down a little bit but the music more than makes it up and this song is a pretty good um next up is bed of razors now it starts off with a great kind of like harp like keyboards and it just really sets the tone it's very omnia sounding and it goes into sort of like wicked like guitar riffs and just that picks up while getting slightly slower and it, this isn't one of the heavier songs by a long shot then does it really matter and this song is loaded with guitar solos rampaging from like a few more seconds and it's very long but there's plenty then um next up is towards dead end now i love this song especially like the ending of this song is seriously has one of the best solos from this band if not the best and it features like a bunch of like trade-offs between alexi and, and yanni nay it's just superb um next song on the album is called black window and it does it pretty much goes into like a menacing sounds complete with just heavy riffs and strange kind of like growling vocals and there's even like the lightest lighter kind of like solos sound a little bit disturbed on here and this song kind of reminds you of like symphonic black metal even though it's definitely it's not but it's still a great song to listen to um, then we get to, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Children of Bodom songs ever, Wrath Within. And I honestly don't think they've never played the song live ever. In fact, I think this, that's the only song that's off of Hate Breeder that they've never played live, which is a damn shame. And, but anyway, let's move on to talk about the song. Now, this song has a killer intro, fast guitar licks, heavy sort of like a great synth and some heavy drums in the background and it's another heavy song the main riffs are just nothing but heavy power chords but the keyboards really just compensate it pretty well for the lack of sort of like the real lead and of course once the guitars come back in they go 
could they go for another solo or without a solo? No, they can't. It just delivers it. It's all just fucking great. And then it just fades in, just combines with the heavy riffs and the drums, which makes a weird heavy solo. And then it starts with another. And yeah, these guys are just really great. And then we move on to the song Children of Bodom, which is the band's own title track, which kind of reminds me a lot of like Hate Breeder, but the guitar are just a lot crazier and technical. And I feel like this is the the song by Children of Bodom. If, if you're going to have a song named after your band, I feel like this is pretty much what sums up what Children of Bodom are. It has that heaviness and it becomes a great melodic masterpiece, complete with some brutal heavy parts in the middle with some great screaming, heavy riffs and some fast blast beats and some really sick double bass that Children of Bodom has done. And yeah, great song. And then we get to the final song on the album, which is Downfall, another one of my favorite Children of Bodom songs, which starts off with sort of like a very haunting keyboard sound, which almost kind of sounds very mesmerizing. And then we get to a great lead riff that just comes in and just dominates the rest of the song. And then there's many fills and breaks that accompany the song. And it can also gets a little bit progressive as well. And I think it's a pretty good way to end this album. Now, overall, Hate Breeder by Children of Bodom, a classic in their catalog. So I'm gonna give the song a score and give Hate Breeder by Children of Bodom a nine out of 10. It's a classic. If you haven't listened to this album yet, or if you're just a fan of just melodic death metal in general, you need to listen to this. You will not be disappointed. So yeah, that's my review of Hate Breeder. Guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal. Kitos.